adventures here we are with this water tank that goes on the side of that camp chef alpine wood stove that we have and i just got this replacement faucet in for it so putting her on it has a little rubber gasket here another rubber and a nut for the other side so I'll just stick it in here put this rubber gasket on the other side uh, really quickly here and then this little brass nut, or, uh, yeah, brass nut. Tighten that down. And at least while these gaskets are new that are on it, um, you should be able to just tighten it down by hand. You shouldn't need tools. Um, I think that's probably good for now. But I'll go and tighten it down with tools after it all gets warmed up with hot water in it and, uh, and, and, and it's like warmed up for a whole day. Then I'll tighten it down a little bit more because those like little rubber washers will kind of like soften up and stuff. And you'll be able to get it a little bit tighter. But that should be good. But yeah, now that we got this on here, I'm going to stick this onto the stove and put you on a different shot. And I guess it's time for us to give this water tank a review. I've had it for a year. It's been my only source for hot water for the last year. So, good time to do a review on it. Stove's barely going right now, but you do want to keep water in these things all the time. So this is the water tank that is designed to mount on your Alpine Camp Chef wood stove. And it comes with a little brass faucet, which I've said in other videos I had problems with and I just got the new replacement finally for this. So it'll be nice to not have all the water dripping out of it every single night. It's dripping so bad at this point that I couldn't even hold water with it. Um, it comes with, when you first buy this thing, it comes in a box, a nice box, and the faucet will be inside of it. And it comes with paperwork that says, like, to always keep the water full on this thing. And not only to keep it full, but, like, if you're going to, anytime you think you're going to be, like, away from the stove long enough that you can't guarantee that the that the water is full in this thing then they recommend you take it off and put it off to the side. I'll set it on this little basin that I have to catch water. I'll just take it off of here every night. I never leave it on here at night because all the water will just boil off. And, um, and, and then if all the water boils off, I've never had that happen with my stove because I make sure to watch for that. Um, it can cause a lot of warping in this and maybe it will warp so much that the seams on the tank split and then it will leak, you know, and then the tank's pretty much done, useless. So they come. it comes with a warning saying, do not leave it on the stove for long periods of time and make sure that the water is always full, just so you don't get that warping. Um, I sometimes would let the water go down like halfway and then put cold water in, which that will also cause warping, and it has caused a little bit of bowing here on the side of the tank. 
um, but nothing that serious. I don't have any leaks or anything. But this was my only source of water all winter this year, my first year off grid, my first full year where I, I didn't leave the cabin. I've just been up here on my property. I go to the grocery store and stuff, but I, I haven't been like going to see family or anything. I've just been up here for the whole year trying to like get my off grid life together out here. And this is my only source of hot water, so I really appreciate this tank a lot and I really like this tank and it has worked out pretty good for me other than the internals of the faucet rusted out at about like four months of ownership and four months of use, the, that little faucet, the internals started rusting out. And at first it was just dripping from the, the head of the faucet. And then it started dripping from the faucet and from this, this little nut right here. So that was obviously a disaster and it got so bad now, I mean, I let it drip for the last eight months because I didn't want to buy it. First of all, when I called Camp Chef, they told me that they don't have it available on any website, so you have to call the company. I emailed them first, actually. And they said, oh, well, you'll have to call the company and make the order over the phone. So I was already bummed out about that, and I, I sent multiple emails asking if they could add it to their Amazon store or even add it to CampChef.com. And they were like, no, they didn't really reply to any of those messages. They just kept on blowing me off. And then I finally called the 1-800 number and didn't order over the phone, which also sucks. I don't like giving credit card information over the phone and everything. And I told them that. Uh, so I kind of gave them a piece of my mind about the situation. But it's mostly because I was angry that I only got four months out of this faucet thing with without it starting to leak. And... And and they didn't offer to replace it or anything for free, you know. They told me it was going to be $9 to replace it and that I had to call. So I was all kind of, kind of butthurt about that. But I got over that eventually. And eventually it was leaking so bad, I decided uh, two weeks ago or a week and a half ago to make the order. So when I called to make the order, it was $9, but it was also $9 for shipping, yeah, yeah, it came out to like $21 with taxes and everything to get that shipped to me. And the tank itself is like 80 to $84 on Amazon.com for the whole tank with the faucet originally. That's what I paid for it. So yeah, it was, uh, I was like 20 bucks. That was a bummer. So I sent them some more emails telling them that I was outraged, of course, and told them that if this one leaks, that I'm going to expect a, a free replacement because I'm not going to keep on replacing these for $20, you know? Like, they need to get better manufacturing. So, yeah, I told them I was doing this YouTube video, too. So, um, yeah, so the faucet has been a disaster so far, kind of. But, you know, it, it does serve its purpose. It just leaks all the water out slowly. And we'll see. This one's brand new. So hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer. But it does look like it's made out of all the same exact material. Um... It's really probably not made for using every single day either as your main water source. Like this is kind of a camp stove and kind of a camp setup for like a canvas tent or something. And most people don't live in their canvas tent all the time, although I have before. And there's a lot of guys out there that do. So, you know, we need products that will actually function out in the field long term. But all in all, I do like the tank, and like I said in the review video for the Alpine Camp Chef stove, wood stove, I really like that. I own two of those. I have one for my canvas tent, and then this one I have in the cabin. And this cabin's so small that that stove is just perfect. It really is easy to control, and it's not. it doesn't hold the heat so long. Like, if I get really big coals in there, this cabin will get really, really hot, and yeah, it's it's easier to keep a small fire in here. And the tank, I mean, the tank is good. It's doing its job. We'll see if, if eventually this thing bows and warps enough that the welds break and I have to buy a new one. But so far, the tank has been performing really good. I was really disappointed with that faucet. Hopefully, this replacement works a little bit better. But we will see. But when you need hot water off-grid... 
um, for free, especially during the winter. You know, when I have the stove going the whole winter, I always have hot water and it's really nice. Like, I can clean all my dishes with hot water. I can wash my hands with warm water pretty much any time. Of course, this thing will get really hot. This thing will get boiling hot, so it'll be like way too hot for you to wash your hands in. But I'll go outside and just chip off a big chunk of ice to take the metal shovel and just like grab a piece of snow or hard ice from somewhere and then just put it in the cold in the boiling water and it will cool it right down to like hand washing temperature and it's nice it's nice having hot water like when you don't have hot water especially in the winter it's a bummer it's hard to get things done doing dishes is the biggest nightmare like you need hot water in the summer when I don't have the stove running um, it, it's, it kind of sucks, but like I have, I have like a tank that's not like this, not long like this, but it's like a tank that you would like put refreshments in and then you paint it black and just keep it on the porch all day. And then that thing stays warm enough that you can clean dishes and, and wash your hands and stuff. But yeah, I like it. I mean, this tank is good. I told them that I was going to give them crap in this review for that faucet. So it's like. They should be expecting that. Hopefully Camp Chef is watching this and adds all, you got to add all your products that you sell to your website. People don't want to be ordering over the phone. This isn't 1980, okay? Like people don't want to give their credit card information over the phone. It should be a secure website that everybody's using or just put it on your Amazon store. You have an Amazon store. Everything should be on there. You'd probably make more money that way. I, I know you have to pay Amazon some 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 money so yeah that sucks I understand that but anyways the faucet is got more to be desired but it's just not good craftsmanship like I don't know maybe you can measure the hole on this tank and try to find a faucet that fits in there the same way that's threaded like that that will actually fit in that hole and maybe one that's a little bit bigger and you can just make the hole a little bit bigger um, but that faucet does kind of suck but all in all, I like this tank. This is the, uh, I don't know what size it is. I should have checked that. It's three gallons. Oh, yeah, it's a three-gallon Camp Chef water tank for the Camp Chef Alpine wood stove. Uncle Dave from DC's Adventures, thanks for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, here's a closer look at the faucet that was leaking that we just replaced on that water tank all rusted there so whatever they are making the internals of on this thing it's not all brass like it should be um and it all rusted to pieces so that's why it was leaking all over the freaking place so yeah yeah over at uh camp chef they definitely need to do a better job at uh quality control with some of these things um, but other than this faucet, like I said, I actually do like the tank in general. And uh, definitely like the stove that the water tank goes on.